Uh, yes, hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> hello everybody, this is Philip from England and welcome to the uh, free webinar. So if you have any questions that you would like to ask, uh, please write them in the uh, um, uh, please write a message. Right, I'm just going to share this in a few uh, places. So. Um, Right, okay, um, so I can see that there's one person here today already, so what I'm just going to do is uh, write a quest or make a poll um, uh, what you would like to study about. So what would you like to learn about today? Um, okay, IELTS exam, I'm just going to make a quick poll and see which topics people would like to discuss. Speaking, uh, business English, um, okay, I think I can maybe only make four topics, so, right, um, and so, okay, I can see there's four uh, people here today so I'm just going to launch the poll and uh, if you have any questions uh, that you would like to uh, ask about uh, please write uh, please click on the option you would like to discuss okay um, I'm just going to go to the poll, uh, you can click on the option that uh, you would like to uh, ask about and uh, then we can focus on that topic more. Um, so I can't see that uh, anybody has clicked on an option at the moment uh, but if you want to uh, write uh, uh, click on a topic um, or I can just speak about the IELTS exam if everybody prefers okay um, let me see here so uh, I still can't see anyone clicking on a topic. So I'll talk about the IELTS exam um, and I'll just quickly introduce myself. Um, so, um, and what uh, I may do also is just um, uh, launch another poll just to sh check people can hear me clearly. So can you hear me uh, clearly? Um, yes, uh, no, uh, average. Okay, so, right, I'm just launching another poll. Um, and uh, so can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes, no, or average so can you hear me clearly uh, yes no or average um, so I think you should be able to click on a result uh, on an option um, and just to hear uh, uh, make sure that you can hear me clearly okay um, I can't see anyone's responding. Maybe, I don't know if the poll...
holes are not showing up properly. Anyway, I'll leave that open and then maybe some people will respond. So I can't see any uh, messages about the topic. So what I am maybe going to talk about today is the IELTS exam, unless people have any preference about a different topic. Uh, so the IELTS exam uh, is one of the best known um, English exams in the world. Uh, possibly it is uh, number two after the, um, uh, the TOEFL exam, which is possibly number two. Um, and um, yes, for some reason, actually, the polls are maybe not showing. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure the reason for that. Anyway, um, oh, no, oh no, it is showing. I can see that. Uh, actually, if I, I don't know if I can test that myself. Anyway, uh, so maybe you've got to view it on a large screen to see the poll. So uh, just before I start that, uh, my name is Philip from England, uh, and I have been an English teacher uh, first starting 25 years ago, and I'm a UK native speaker. Um, so I started 25 years ago with breaks, not continuously. Um, and I think you may need to make the screen large to uh, be able to answer the questions. Anyway, um, so right, I'm just going to try something else. If I um, uh, say uh, make a question, apparently that's some, something else, another way of uh, broadcasting. Okay. Anyway. Um, so uh, I, I first started teaching the IELTS exam uh, about 14 years ago online, uh, or a bit over 14 years ago. So I'm very experienced teaching this exam. Um, now, uh, for the um, uh, uh, for the uh, uh, IELTS exam, there are four uh, sections, uh, which are reading. Uh, writing, uh, speaking, and listening. Um, and if you are taking the IELTS exam, uh, focus on the uh, areas or area uh, that you find most difficult. However, uh, it is a good idea to uh, try uh, to make sure you're doing well in all areas of the exam. Uh, what sometimes happens with the uh, IELTS exam is that students will only uh, focus on uh, one uh, area of the exam, or maybe one or two, and think that they are quite confident in the other areas. Um, but that is a mistake, uh, perhaps because uh, uh, that will um, uh, mean that you, you, are, you, you can pass uh, one or two of the, or three of the uh, areas of the, I of the four areas of the IELTS, but then uh, maybe you will fail in one section and then possibly have to retake the exam again. Okay, um, so I'm just going to try to relaunch the poll uh, that I, I made um, to uh, check if everyone can hear me clearly, but you may possibly need to be using a, um, a, uh, a, a PC or something like that to hear, uh, to see the questions, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so um, one thing uh, I would recommend for the IELTS exam 
is try to uh, see uh, when you are going to ah now someone says I can't hear well oh okay thanks for that um, so I'm not sure the reason for that mind you I was listening to myself actually uh, and it seemed to be playing Yes, I was listening to myself, and I can kind of hear myself well. So let's write, how about everyone else? Uh, how about everyone else? So um, I should be using the um, my regular microphone. I think I checked it maybe before. Um, so in bed... Uh, for all of us to unpower. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hang on. Right. Uh, right. I've just changed it so student, so people can message me uh, directly. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so you can now message me, apparently. Um, and... Okay, anyway, okay, thanks for that. Uh, so, uh, I'll, can everyone hear me? Uh, just message me if you do have an issue. But I was listening to my sound uh, playing back and it seemed to be clear. Okay, anyway, I'll assume it's clear. I may have to do another one, but I think it's probably clear uh, as far as I'm aware. Okay, um, so, um, for the uh, IELTS, uh, work out what grade you need to get um, and how long uh, you, you have to prepare uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the exam. Um, so... Um, so for the uh, uh, exam, maybe, you know, if you have six weeks and you know that you need to uh, prepare for uh, all sections, uh, reading, writing, and, and, and so on, uh, and then you find that you're, you're not doing so well for listening, uh, then uh, you can... Uh, try to focus more on that topic uh, to uh, try and improve for that and try to do regular exams for that such as two or three or more listening exams every week uh, would be good um, okay so now, welcome to all the people listening. Uh, if you have a specific topic you would like to ask about, uh, please write the message. Um, and somebody said they couldn't hear me clearly, but I listened again and I think it sounded fairly clear. So I'm not sure if it's their connection perhaps. Uh, anyway, I'll see you after. Okay, so um, in the IELTS exam, there are two different options. There is the uh, academic exam, and also there is the general exam. So you will need to make sure you know uh, which uh, topic uh, of uh, the uh, exam you will need to study for. Um, so, for example, if you are going to be uh, learning uh, uh, at a university in the UK, uh, you would need the academic exam normally, or perhaps even 100% of the time, uh, for the uh, registration process. Uh, 
also uh, for the um, uh, IELTS, uh, you have a choice between uh, 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 sorry between paper and computer based exams. Um, and the speaking and the listening um, would not be affected uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, generally speaking. Now, for the um, uh, paper exam, you need to write uh, on the paper um, they will provide. Um, um, and so you need to think about if your handwriting is clear enough uh, when you are writing um, uh, for the, uh, that exam. Um, and uh, for the um, uh, reading as well, it can maybe be more uh, convenient uh, if uh, you are um, uh, using paper, perhaps. So um, try to have that in mind, uh, which, which one would be easiest uh, uh, for you. Although maybe people who use computers a lot uh, will be happy with the reading exam online uh, where on a computer where you can scroll up and down uh, as well uh, between uh, the um, uh, between the questions. Okay, uh, I'm just launching a poll at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure if that will only show on a PC or laptop. I'm not sure uh, if you can't see the questions about what topic you would like to speak about. Anyway, um, and uh, just to say also, if anybody is interested in uh, taking private classes, uh, there is a link for a free 35, uh, sorry, 30 minute demo. Um, and my website is onlineenglishteacher.com uh, onlineenglishteacher.com uh, or also you can go to englishteacherphilip.com uh, which is my name uh, Philip from England so you can go to either of those websites and book a free uh, 30 minute uh, meeting um, uh, about learning English. Okay, so I'll carry on uh, giving uh, advice uh, about um, uh, uh, the IELTS. Now, uh, for the IELTS exam, uh, make sure that uh, you properly understand all the different sections of the exam. So uh, that's maybe very useful for the reading exam uh, in terms of understanding the questions uh, uh, for the uh, exam. So you do so you can save uh, thinking time uh, in the exam. Okay. Uh, also uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, uh, look uh, for the reading especially, uh, be careful about the time so that you won't uh, run out of time uh, when uh, you are uh, doing uh, that uh, exam. Okay, um, and uh, um, also, for if we go back to speaking, if we go to speaking, uh, the speaking section last I heard was 11 to 14 minutes. Uh, so, um, so for the um, uh, speaking section, uh, the first section will be uh, a warm up. Uh, the uh, second section uh, will be uh, a cue card um, and the uh, third section 
uh, will be, um, uh, and the third section will be follow-up questions. Now, I'm just seeing if there any comments have come through. Um, okay, nothing at the moment. So if you have any questions you would like to ask, please try messaging me um, and I will try to answer the uh, questions. Okay, uh, so uh, also uh, for the IELTS exam, there are many other things you can think about, not uh, specifically about, uh, not, not specifically uh, about uh, uh, IELTS skill. So uh, for example, uh, you can, this, you can uh, think about having enough sleep before the exam or having enough uh, food uh, the day before and on the day so you're not hungry. Uh, so have a, have a think about that uh, also. Um, uh, in the, uh, for the exam, uh, try to uh, stay focused, you know, the whole time. It's a very um, expensive uh, exam for many people, or quite expensive. So really, uh, you don't want to uh, retake the exam if possible. So uh, in the exam, uh, always stay focused um, and make sure that you are not, uh, you know, not finishing early or, or maybe mishearing the questions and listening if you're not uh, really focused. So you don't want to take the exam twice if possible. Now I know that some people just want to take a test exam but it's maybe quite expensive I think for almost all people. So also for money and time and maybe goals probably as possibly as well uh, you want to try and pass uh, the first time uh, for the exam. Um, okay, so uh, also uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, um, um, realize that it can take a lot of time. Uh, so uh, you um, want to uh, make sure that uh, you're not, uh, that you have enough time and you enough free time. To do homework or uh, maybe to uh, uh, take classes may well be a good idea in many instances maybe not a hundred percent if you're for example just weak in reading only you've already got good English um, and then you can practice uh, uh, by yourself okay um, and uh, uh, also uh, when you do uh, the IELTS, make sure to check your answers as much as possible. So, uh, for example, for uh, the um, uh, writing, uh, try to schedule in time, such as if possible, you know, five minutes for task two and three minutes for task one, uh, for example, for checking at the end, and then make sure that uh, you are. Uh, uh, checking properly um, because if you don't uh, check properly uh, then uh, you may make some mistakes that you could have uh, uh, been aware of um, and uh, then uh, after that um, uh, you, you will um, have um, uh, perhaps even a lower grade if you make enough small mistakes uh, for the exam. Uh, for the uh, IELTS exam, uh, there are uh, a lot of useful resources online, uh, so check them, check that out, and uh, see about uh, anything that you would like to to uh, know about. Okay, I'll just very quickly introduce myself uh, again. Uh, my name is uh, Philip from England and I've been an English teacher first starting uh, 
25 years ago approximately um, I think I first did um, uh, teacher uh, uh, practice classes about 25 years ago almost today in fact and uh, well I started my teacher course uh, over 25 years ago and then I've had breaks so um, and I specialize in the IELTS exam if you have any uh, uh, questions I have some free forums and if you want some training uh, which I uh, but but I cannot maybe always answer all the questions in the free forums just depends on free time and so on but uh, if you want uh, a private training uh, you can visit onlineenglishteacher.com um, and uh, there you will be able to uh, learn about uh, or, or book a free um, meeting uh, to discuss paid uh, English classes if you're interested in that okay um, so we just got under five minutes left uh, so I hope everyone can hear me clearly um, I will maybe check the audio afterwards but someone said it wasn't clear but I did do a bit of a check and I thought it was clear so okay um, and uh, also uh, turning back to the IELTS exam um, uh, make sure that uh, uh, let's see a tip I can give uh, for the speaking is try not to rush your speaking so if you are speaking very fast uh, maybe uh, this will uh, show a lack of confidence so you don't want to speak uh, too fast uh, in the uh, uh, exam because maybe this will make uh, it'll appear you're nervous or kind of trying to cover up your lack of English so uh, basically you, you know try not try to avoid uh, that um, okay um, I see we've got about three minutes left so if anyone has any questions uh, they would like to ask uh, please feel welcome to go ahead just in the last few minutes uh, but I will carry on giving some more tips okay um, uh, also uh, for the um, uh, IELTS exam um, have a look at uh, previous exams can be very useful uh, for the speaking and writing to see the uh, types of questions uh, that uh, were in the exam before um, and um, uh, so that that can be quite useful um, and uh, um, and by doing that you can think about the answers you will give uh, for example for speaking many of the questions in the first section are very similar so they will uh, they will say where are you from da, 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 you know and so on um, and uh, that that can help you uh, to think about the uh, types of questions that uh, people may uh, be asking okay uh, we've got about one minute left I don't know if anyone has any uh, if there are any if I can't if any, if there is a, a question from anyone rather uh, please do go ahead and ask uh, in the chat I apologize if I've missed it um, and uh, okay um, I don't know if um, Facebook has some sort of like bell function like a lot like YouTube I think you can maybe um, uh, put that setting as well uh, in there um, so there are many other tips uh, actually I've written a free ebook as well which I uh, may will be linking to at some point um, uh, some time back uh, with over 100 tips uh, for the IELTS so uh, there's about uh, uh, 45 seconds left so I'll just say thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, my name is uh, Philip uh, from England um, and if you have uh, any uh, questions you would like to ask uh, you know you can reply to the uh, video and if you're interested in paid classes uh, I offer one-to-one -one, um, you can visit 
online English teacher dot com. Okay, so uh, thank you very much again, uh, everyone who has listened or will listen, um, and uh, I wish everyone a, a great day, and um, um, and speak uh, and and uh, see you again uh, metaphorically uh, on uh, uh, Facebook soon. Hopefully, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.